Well, but to make things worse, Esau was impetuous. I mean, he devalued the importance of his birthright. He devalued the importance of his coming first. And he would sell it for a 10 cents cup of soup. He did not value it at all. Let me ask you this. How many people do you know like Esau who have created shipwrecks of their lives, of their reputations for the sake of instant gratification? For the sake of momentary satisfaction, they destroyed their lives and the lives of others. Jacob, on the other hand, was not blameless. Listen carefully. I think most of us will identify with what I'm going to tell you about Jacob more than Esau. Had Jacob trusted in the promises of God, had Jacob trusted in the Word of God that was given to his parents, had Jacob trusted in the Word of God, he would not have had to scheme and try to buy his brother's birthright. Why? Because it was his. God gave it to him. God promised it to him. God said, it's yours. The problem with all of us is this, is that we don't look at the long view of things. We really don't, the best of us, the greatest of visionaries, we don't look at the big picture and the the long view. We make instant decisions based on current conditions. We make erroneous conclusions based on prevailing circumstances. But God sees the whole picture. He sees the beginning. He sees the end. He sees the middle. He sees it all. He sees the seen. He sees the unseen. And that is why it is ultimately far better to trust Him, to fulfill His promises, instead of us trying to fulfill His promises for Him. It bombed out when Abraham tried it with Ishmael. It bombs out every time. Like Jacob, he got impatient with God. And Rebecca, who did not encourage him to trust in the promises of God, and Isaac, his father, we too tend to run and take things into our own hands. Taking things into our hands may give us a sense of accomplishment. It may give us a sense of achievement. It gives us a sense that we've done something. We're doing something. But it also could cause a whole lot of pain in the process. It could cause a train wreck. All of the scheming, all of the plotting, all of the maneuvering, all of the manipulating, they all come back to haunt him. Don't forget. Thank God every day for his grace, but don't test his patience. A word to the parents. Remember that as long as you bring your children in the fear and nurture of the Lord, as long as you instruct them in the word of God, don't worry about mistakes because God's grace will overrule. Father, it is impossible to even comprehend your grace. Lord, I would have given up on me a long time ago, but you didn't. I thank you for that. I bless you today. I glory in you today. I rejoice in your grace today. And Father, I pray in the name and in the power of Jesus and all the power that is in that name that your Holy Spirit will come and visit every heart. Father God, those who seek forgiveness, pour it into their hearts as they ask you for it. 